We're gonna rock it and roll it. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, the friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the healthy, no-bake protein bar that literally helped save my life on my weight loss journey. bar literally saved my life because I used to weigh 275 pounds and my weight was causing me massive health problems so serious I had sleep apnea so bad that I needed a machine to help me breathe at night and I knew if I didn't lose the weight that I was gonna keep putting my life at risk every day but I love I love snacks and I love treats and I didn't want to give up snacks or my favorite foods to lose the weight because that had never worked in the past. I just felt deprived. So I decided to start making this protein bar. It's full of my favorite tasty and healthy ingredients, full of protein. It kept me satisfied and full to the point where I was motivated to stay on track because I looked forward to eating this bar every single day. So eating this protein bar every day combined with portioning out the rest of my meals and snacks every day, not only helped me lose 50 pounds in three months, it helped me go on to lose a total of 130 pounds and keep it off for seven years. So, we haven't made this actually sassy. My husband, he's lost 130 pounds as well and kept it off for the same amount of time. We haven't made these since like the beginning of our journey, so this is gonna be really cool. It's super easy, it's no bake, and you literally just microwave a few things and chill it in the fridge and then you cut it up into individual portions. So we're gonna start by mixing the dry ingredients together. We need two cups of quick oats. These are the ones that I'm using, the great value one minute oats. I'm gonna pour that into a big bowl. Then you need a cup of protein powder any will do, any flavor, any kind. I'm using this one, Huddled Harder Than Last Time Chocolate Donut Case and Whey Blend. Uh, I am sponsored by this company. The link for this protein powder is down below. But again, you can use any. So that's gonna go in there, one cup. Then we're gonna do a quarter cup of sliced almonds. And I bought the ones already done in the baking aisle. These are sliced blanched almonds. That way I didn't have to do any chopping or any extra work. A third cup of dried cranberries. These are my favorite, but I always get the ones with 50% less sugar because they can be quite full of sugar and I like keeping it a little bit lower. And then half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. So I'm literally just gonna stir this up and then set it aside. Make sure it's super well combined. You got a big spoon today. Are you proud of me? Normally I like to use little spoons, but today I chose wisely. Look at that. Whoa, sassy. I'm getting in sassy territory. Spooning leads to forking. <laughs> okay, so that's all combined. Now we're gonna mix the wet ingredients in a microwave safe bowl, um, medium size. We're going to do, this is a quarter cup of low calorie syrup. This is the one I'm using. It's Dora, the lower calorie, low sugar one. Pour that in there. And we get that from Walmart. Then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. A quarter cup of peanut butter. I'm using the Jif 25% less fat. Any light peanut butter will do. Let me see. Oh my gosh, yep, I should have known. Light enough. This is why his name is Sassy if you're new, because he sasses everything, every time. Same joke, every day. Put the quarter cup of peanut butter in this bowl here. Then, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce. quarter cup of non-dairy milk. This is the Silk Creamy Cashew Unsweetened. We usually get the unsweetened vanilla, but they were out, so unsweetened will work. And then I'm adding 
one of my favorite things, chocolate, but to keep the sugar down, we're using dark chocolate. So this is the 70% dark chocolate chips. And all of these things were purchased at Zares in Canada, but I'm sure if you live in the States, you can find it everywhere. How much chocolate was that? It was a quarter cup. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a stir, and then I'm gonna microwave it for 30 seconds, stir and repeat until everything is fully melted. You know, what are you, what like are you doing? a microwave face. Because like, you know in the microwave when the plate goes around, like that's what I'm mimicking, like you see oh, this? Oh, okay. No, that's, that's normal. <laughs> okay, that was 30 seconds. We're gonna give this a stir and then do for another 30 seconds and keep going until all the peanut butter and chocolate is melted. Mm. Like I said in the beginning of the video, like this, we were just talking off camera about like how important this protein bar recipe was to us because when we discovered it, it was just, it was kind of like a chocolate bar alternative and it saved our lives. Like I remember being so proud to take my single serving all wrapped up to work, throw it in my lunch pail on the go, traveling. It was just something that was so satisfying and I was so proud that I was taking care of myself but also allowing myself to eat things that I enjoyed. Yeah, excited to eat it every single day. Every single day. And it's so good, which is a bonus. <laughs> yes, super tasty and I love, it actually makes eight bars and you'll see that after. Um, and so it allowed Sassy and I to pretty much have one every day for almost the whole week. So this will probably take another 30 seconds and then be done for a total of a minute and a half. So that's what it'll look like. <laughs> All right. All right, the friends, uh, as Sassy said, this is what it looks like after it's been melted. So again, that was a minute and a half, 30 seconds at a time, stir in between until it's totally melted. Now I'm going to pour it into the dry ingredients and stir this in until everything is mixed up really well. And this is like the binder. Yes, exactly. Then we're gonna press it into an eight by eight dish, which I've got already over there, and it has been sprayed with cooking spray. By me, you're welcome. By the cute sassaroon, the helpful bear, even though he's sassy. Oh, this smells so chocolatey. So basically, it's gonna look dry, but you just keep mushing it around. I like to use the bottom of the spoon. It does smell amazing, by the way, until everything is coated really, really well and wet looking like that. Mm. And, and don't miss those two almonds. On oh, side. thanks. It's a good thing I have you here, boss <laughs> mirror. <laughs> You'd never get by without me. I would never survive without you, sassy, ever. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna, I think there's a little bit of bahinga. That means dry stuff on the spoon. So let's get that off. Okay, now we're gonna put it into here. Oh, don't lose any of the goodness in the bowl. Woo, flinging. Flingage there happened. Okay, now we're gonna press this in. I am going to wet my hands a little bit so that the stuff doesn't stick and I get ooey monster hands. Okay, hands are wet. Squish it down, squish it down. Just push it in until, push it all the way down until the whole thing looks like a big bar. Like that covers the whole bottom of the dish. And this is exciting because we're gonna be eating one of these bars for our pre-workout snack today. Mm. Okay, so this is it. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge now for half an hour. And then I'm gonna show you how I divide it into bars and individually wrap it and then store it for the week. And then, like I said, Kyle and I lost the weight with portion control, but I am gonna give you the calories per bar because you guys often ask. And that way, you know, it's one bar per serving, but then if you do wanna know the calories, I'll give you that at the end of the video as well. So let's put this in the fridge for half an hour and get it ready for my belly. All right, the friends, this has been chilling for a little over 30 minutes now. Pulled it out of the fridge, and I have a sharp knife and some plastic wrap 
for wrapping. I have this bag here and this is how I labeled things at the beginning of our portion control journey because this is going to make about eight bars and I'm going to store them in this bag in the fridge. So I labeled it protein bars AM snack and then I would put for how many days? So four days, June 28th to July 1st, which is, you know, this week for us. And I would write four for Nicole and four for Kyle. That way, once, you know, I ate the one for day one, I wasn't gonna eat any of Kyle's and I wasn't gonna eat my ones for the other days. So it really helped. So I'm just going to slice this in half, what I'm eyeballing, you know, an even sort of bar size there. And now I'm gonna cut this into four. And I just basically eyeball them to make sure they're sort of even size. I usually eyeball them to make sure I get the bigger pieces. <laughs> yeah, that's true, he probably does. <laughs> <laughs> Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap them all individually in the plastic wrap. So I'm just going to pop one out. And so this is what they look like when they come out. Um, they are so good, guys. And just wrap it up like this. And then I pop them in the bag and I store it in the fridge and they're good for a week. So I'm just gonna wrap all these up and then I'll give you guys the calories per bar and how much protein and stuff. All right, the friends, they're all ready, wrapped up and ready to go in the bag for the week. I'm gonna store this sealed up in the fridge. And of course, there are six in here because there's two reserved for taste tests. And we have decided to use this as our pre-workout snack today. And I'm gonna show ya what the cows are per bar. Like I said, we did portion control to lose the weight, so we ate one bar a day, usually with like a fruit or something at snack time. But if you would like to know the calories per bar, it's 253 calories, 29.5 grams of carbs, 7.8 grams of fat, and 17.7 .7 grams of protein. So it's a pretty decent protein bar. And a good size, too. Very good size, and because of the oats and the protein and all the ingredients, it keeps you pretty full and satisfied. So, of course, we gotta do the taste test. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. It tastes like, like a chewy, gooey cookie with chocolate and almonds and just like really good like stick to your ribs comfort food. So the friends, you want to know exactly what I ate to lose the weight. I got two weight loss ebooks. Links are down below along with my brand new guilt free cookbook and the link for the whole protein. Or you can watch one, two of it for free to see exactly how I love my food, love life and keep the weight off and lose the weight and meet all my friends go and get lean but not me. Whoa. I love you. I hope you enjoyed the video. This protein bar was super tasty and important on our journey. So I wanted to share it with you. Love you. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next vid. Peace. <laughs> love you. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.